the second grade this is module three lesson four and our objective today is i can count up to one thousand on the place value chart <coughs> at his birthday party joey got one hundred dollars from each of his two grandmothers forty dollars from his dad and five dollars from his little sister how much money did joey get for his birthday so you need to solve this and because it's our application problem you may use whatever strategy we have used in the past that you feel most comfortable with to solve this so go ahead and push pause and then push play when you're done okay so here is one way you could have solved this so you needed to make a number sentence and I believe we should be adding because it says how much money did Joey get for his birthday party so he, you're adding up how much he got all together so I put 100 plus 100 plus 40 plus 5 and the reason why I put two 100s here is because he it said that he got a hundred from each of his grandmothers and he has two so each of his two grandmothers so you needed to make sure you got two down so 100 100 plus 40 from his dad and five from his little sister and to solve this you could have first added the two 100s together so if you add 100 plus 100 what do you get right you get 200 so now you can add 200 plus 400 plus 5 or sorry 200 plus 40 plus 5 now if we're doing this we can do the hide zero so what we need to do is we need to think how many ones do we have there's no ones in here to add and there's no ones here to add there's just some ones right here so how many do we have right we have five now let's look and see how many four how many tens we have so we don't have any tens here and we don't have any tens here but we do have some tens here how many tens do we have right we have four tens now we've already counted up how many ones we have and how many or how many hundreds we have sorry we've already counted up how many hundreds we have so how many hundreds do we have right we have two hundreds so that makes our total number amount of money is two hundred and forty five dollars oh I wish I could get that much for my birthday <coughs> okay so now we're going to use our numbers or our um, number chart here to count hundreds tens and ones now how many hundreds do you think we will need to get before we get tens so how many 100s do we need to fill up before we can add to the tens right we need to get 10 ones so that we can add to the tens so let's do that let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine and after we get to nine and we add one more we'll have ten so we need to bundle all of those up and put it over here in the tens so we have one tens now how many tens do we need to make one one hundreds right we need ten tens to make one one hundreds so let's count up ten tens here we've already got one two three four five six 
seven, eight, nine. So that's 90. And if we add one more, we'll need to bundle all those up and send it over to the hundreds. So now we have 100 straws. Oh, sorry, got ahead here. Okay, so now how many hundreds do we need to make a thousand? Right, we need ten hundreds to make one thousand. So let's get ten one hundreds here so we can make that thousand. So we've got one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred. 900, 1,000. Good job. All right. So now, now we're going to count by ones to 120. And we need to use our chart here. So remember, when we get to 10 ones here, we need to bundle those up and put them over here. And when we get to 10 tens, we need to bundle those up and put them over here in the hundreds. So let's start. Remember, we're counting by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and one more would make Ten. So let's put the ten over there. Now what comes after ten if we're counting by ones? Right, eleven. Remember we're counting by ones. So eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Let's bundle those up and make twenty. What comes after twenty? If we're counting by ones. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Oh, what do we do now? We have nine here. And we're about to bundle up to make 10 over here. So how many do we have now? 100. Very good. Okay. Whew. We're doing a lot of counting here. Okay, so we're, remember, we're continuing to count by ones. So 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120. Woo, we did it. 120. Okay, so now 
we need using our chart to make 476. What we first need to do is we need to see how many in each number spot. So how many do we need to put in the 100s? This is the 100s place. So how many are we going to put in the 100s? Four. Right, so let's put four hundreds down. One, two, three, four. All right, so we're not done yet because we still have some tens and we still have some ones. So how many tens do we need to put in our tens column? You said seven. Okay, let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> and how many ones do we need to put in our ones column? Oh, six. Okay, let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we have 476 and we need to get 600. So how can we do that? Let's add some ones. How many ones do we need to add to get the next 10 here. So we've got six. So let's count. Let's see. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now we have how many tens? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have 80 now. So let's add some more tens. How many more tens do we need to make our next 100? We have eight. So let's see, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, and we need 600. So how many more do we need? Okay, so let's add 100, and that gets us to 600. Excellent thinking. Now it's your turn to do your exit ticket. You are going to do one, two, and three here. So you need to get out your sheet or do it on your desk or dry erase board. And number one, it says these are bundles of 10. If you put them together, which unit would you make? Would you make ones, tens, hundreds, or thousands? Number two says these are bundles of hundreds, tens, and ones. How many sticks are there in all? So you're going to need to tell me how many are here counting these bundles. And number three is imagine the place value chart. The, that's the place value chart that we were just working with. Write the numbers that show a way to count from 187 to 222. Good luck.